Hello, Contour HD and GPS video camera owners, users. Um, my name's Neil. I'm going to show you how I built a boom cam to mount my Contour HD on. Uh, gotta admit, right off the bat, stole the idea from that French guy, G, DJ, E, I don't, I'm not sure how you say your name, man. Good luck with that. But uh, you missed one big detail out. You put a gyro at the end of your boom to keep your camera level. It's not about keeping your camera level if, if you're skiing at least, like I am. I want my camera fixed on me as I move around. I want it to move with me. The background's what's going to shake. The camera, the video, is going to look nice and smooth because I'm right in the center of the image. So, that said, you got your backpack. You got your uh, your three quarter inch PVC pipe. You got your XL bike mount built by Contour. You make your quarter inch melamine plywood, whatever you want to use, cut out, shape it to the size of your backpack. Start with an oversized cut, shrink it down until it fits in there tight. You want to make sure it's tight in your backpack. You might even have to stuff some stuff down the bottom there. I use a a couple of balls of socks to make sure it's nice and stable. But uh, anyway, you got your uh, your rigid back piece, your three quarter inch PVC, a couple of clamps. Most importantly, a screw through the middle. That's the only thing that's stopping this pipe from spinning uh, against this backboard. So you, you got to sink at least a screw in there. Probably gonna add another couple. Only use this thing on the hill once so far. So uh, so far so good. But um, anyway, got my pipe to the telescopes up out of my backpack, got my 45 degree elbow on it, and then uh, I got an assortment of lengths of PVC. That way I can mess around with things still, you know, get farther out there, get farther up, get down low, you know, lets you, lets you play with your angles. And on the last piece of PVC, mount your XL bike mount. I uh, got an end cap on the end of the thing. Uh, I don't think that's really going to keep it on any more than the bike mount will, but a little peace of mind. So, take your back piece, an intermediate piece of PVC, and then the piece with the mount on it, and got your boom. Stuff the whole thing in a backpack. Zip it all shut, and now you've got a boom that you can throw on your back. Uh, the longer the boom, the more you'll get in your, uh, your frame, obviously. It's also kind of hard to work the camera by yourself. Uh, this is kind of nice, it's nice and close to my head, kept it low so I can take this piece off, get uh, on and off the chairlift. Uh, also lets you turn your camera on and off, but the alignment's kind of tricky. Really, you're going to want a friend to help you out that first couple of times that you take this thing on the snow, that's for sure. Anyway, just another quick mount idea that I had that I used. Took a uh, real fat rubber band here and the goggle mount. Sort of just slipped it through like it was on my goggles. And uh, put the whole thing down around my leg. And now I'm taking video down at my skis, up at my body. Uh, the down at the skis comes out real nice. It's a little shaky. I'm uh, an East Coast skier. I'm on the groomers. I got a lot of chatter going on. But uh, hoping it's a little smoother and some powder. We'll find out later this season. So, anyway, my name's Neil. Like I said, that's how I build the boom cam. That's how I got my boot cam going. I think it shoots some pretty cool angles. Something just a little bit different than... Uh, you know, a perspective of what it looks like going down the hill. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you get to use some of these ideas. Make sure you're sharing yours too, because that's what it's all about, right? So, until next time, take care.